Jonesy, you're back down to the bowl for consecutive home games, which must be nice feeling. Yeah, it's fantastic. No, it's, <laughs> um, it's brilliant. But you'll be wanting to put the, the wrongs to right after last week, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think there was a huge amount wrong other than the result last weekend. Yeah. You know, we, we, we hadn't played for a couple of weeks and you could see that in the display. There wasn't quite the rhythm and the connections that we had been seeing previously um, when we were playing more, more regularly. But um, yeah, we've had a really good training week. Like we, we didn't get too down in the dumps after the game. Um, certainly didn't take it into Tuesday and it's been all about preparing for today. And, and making sure the performance levels go up a little bit more and um, and hopefully give ourselves a better chance of leaving the ball and a home ground with their uh, three points. Yeah, And again, the, we were just saying with Simo then that the league table is quite hard, isn't it? Because teams are in certain positions and it's come up almost a false position. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really represent where they are, how they actually play. And yeah, yeah. So Squires Gate obviously down there, but you'll be expecting a really tough game today. Really difficult game. Yeah, yeah. They're... Uh, they always give the top teams a, a good go, um, and they they get um, you know they, they're quite good from a tactical point of view in terms of just being set up to be difficult to beat. Um, so it'll be a real tough test for us. You know they they've got a bit of a um, winning record, haven't they, against us? You know <laughs> they've not lost against us in, um, in the last kind of three fixtures. So it's about time we put that right, and we put it right with a really top performance. So you know I'm expecting the lads to be really on the front foot and playing. You know attacking football you know and, and really kind of getting stuck in and and hopefully at the end of the game we're in a we're in a good place and obviously we've had a few vacancies for the, the squad today yeah which obviously gives you know positivity to the players that have had a chance today so you'll be giving yeah, that message i suppose yeah 100 percent. yeah i think you know it, it's it's like every manager's frustration certainly here that you know you can't always pick the same group yeah. all of the time and that's that's no one's fault that's just the circumstances we've got to work with yeah. and that's why it's important to have a reasonably big group of players and develop them together so as if you're not with two or three of your starting players from the week before you've got ready-made replacements to come in and the level doesn't drop and actually it goes up again so yeah it's, it's it you know what is you know one person's kind of a misfortune by being away is another person's opportunity, isn't yeah, it? So definitely. I fully expect the lads with the shirts to take it today and um, then make my life even harder next mm -hmm. week when everyone's back available again. And finally, just a shout for the fans. They came down in the numbers again last week. Such a good following. It's obviously a bit of a bitter cold day today. You know, we've had it like frosty conditions. Yeah. So the players will want to be straight at it, get the get the fans going straight away. Hundred percent, yeah. The, the as I say in my program notes, most weeks the the fans are so important. You know, mm. um, it spurs the players on to another level again, and and I really hope people do go out of their way because sometimes it takes you to go out your way, doesn't it? A yeah, little definitely. bit. It's easy to stay at home and maybe listen to Rob's great commentary on the radio and <laughs> um, you know put the fire on and all the rest of it. But um, you know, come down here like this. This this club's doing good things, not just mm -hmm. for the players, but we're bringing an awful lot of money into the Max community, and that will only continue if we have people down in the ground. And if you're down in the ground, cheer positively. You know, make, make sure you you are part of the game and not just watching the game yeah. um, and the lads really really appreciate it and it's on us isn't it to get people excited and and up for being down here and enjoying the game with a good performance and high energy and you know that the players are under pressure to do that and if we can do that over the next kind of three or four weeks when we've got these back-to-back -back home games hopefully the crowds will go up mm. week in and week out and and we'll create something um special here again so yeah yeah really looking forward to Seeing how the lads go, but more importantly, seeing a reasonably big crowd here tonight and being being loud and behind us. Good luck, all the best. Cheers, Mike.